morning. It's good to see you all here. It's good to see the Blue Star moms here. Good to see you again. Uh, Patriot Guard, thank you for being here. You've been to many receptions that I've been to, and thank you for being here and showing the great flags. I'd also like to thank the United States Post Office for everything that you have done. You've been extremely great to work with in honoring Master Sergeant. Jackie, Diana, thank you as well. And I'd like to thank Mayor Robbins for being with us today. I appreciate you coming. Today we've gathered to recognize and honor the life of a Marine, Master Sergeant Daniel Fetter, Pine City native, who paid the ultimate sacrifice while serving in Afghanistan. It is an honor and a privilege to represent the people of Minnesota's 8th District in the United States Congress. And it is on their behalf that I extend to you, Jackie and Diana, our deepest condolences and sympathy on the loss of a son and a husband and the loss of a father. Your loss is the nation's loss. We join you in your mourning for this exceptional Marine. Our country is great because of men like Master Sergeant Fetter. Master Sergeant Fetter was and is a Marine's Marine. He served 16 years in the Corps as an explosive ordnance disposal technician. To put it in terms, he dismantled bombs, he saved lives, an ultimate professional. It takes a special person to do what he did. He deployed twice to Iraq, and it is two years ago today, during his first combat deployment to Afghanistan, that his life was taken from us by an improvised explosive device, an IED, a roadside bomb that had been planted in Hemlin Province in southern Afghanistan. Today we remember Master Sergeant Fetter's sacrifice by dedicating the Pine City Post Office in his memory, but in celebration of his life. It is a simple gesture, but it is one that is done with much reverence to recognize a fallen warrior and remember an American hero. While growing up in Pine City, Master Sergeant Fetter was an avid wrestler he was a member of the Pine City Wrestling Team and enjoyed the camaraderie that came with being a member of a close-knit team. That's what attracted him to the Marine Corps. I'm told he had good grades and was a good boy. That comes from most reliable source, his grandmother Florence. It didn't come as a surprise to people who knew him that a young, this young man would choose the military as a career, that he would dedicate himself to serve the country as a Marine. Master Sergeant Feather loved the military and was highly decorated. One of his awards is the Purple Heart, which is only awarded to members of the United States Armed Forces who are wounded in the performance of their duty in combat. Occasions such as these are great examples of what we can do as a community to show the appreciation and gratitude for those who continue to serve and sacrifice on our behalf. It tells them they will never forgotten. No one except God knows what the future will bring. What is almost certain is that our military will once again be called upon to, in the future, protect Americans, to defend our allies and defeat our enemies. I can tell you this. Thankfully, we have young men like Master Sergeant Fetter who are willing and proud to wear our country's uniform, defend her, and fight for her. As long as we have people who are willing to step up and are willing to put country before self, our nation will be secure. As long as we have people like Master Sergeant Fetter, who will do what it takes to defeat our enemies, we will be a country that always lives in freedom and liberty. In closing, I'd just like to say as a retired vet, I understand and appreciate what our great military means to the safety and future of this nation. I have the deepest respect for what our men and women in uniform stand for and for the sacrifices and what they do. They truly represent our country's finest. It is right that we recognize them, we thank them, we honor them, especially our fallen heroes, men like Master Sergeant Daniel Fetter, a man who loved his country and paid the ultimate sacrifice in their service. It is fitting 
people are here today that loved him most. Jackie, Diana, our hearts go out to you. I'd also like to say that I have a special thank you for Essential Energy for sponsoring this great event today, and Walmart for the cake that's going to be in the deck, uh, or the uh, deck uh, little lunch we're gonna have back here. May God continue to bless this great nation of ours, for now, for those who serve now, for those who have served our great nation in the past, so that we all may be here today in peace. Thank you very much.